I'm Deepak Chopra. You're watching One World with uh, Deepak Chopra. Uh, today we are coming to you from New York City, from Times Square, uh, the heart of the financial district here, um, NASDAQ building. And uh, my very special guest uh, is Anir, Anir Ban Bandhopadhyay. And uh, Anir Ban is a material scientist, uh, has been heading the Material Science Institute in Japan, but he's right now visiting as a professor at MIT and setting up a lab to look at uh, resonance, right? Yes, the, the yeah. rhythm of, uh, because we believe that uh, it's a composition of music that uh, the drives biology. the life. Yes, so every single biological systems or machines are basically a musical device. It's, it has some frequencies by which it sings we don't understand its singing, so it has a symmetry and a song. So you want to understand uh, the entire composition of song. Uh, so let's well stay with this for our show. Just mm -hmm. talk about the music of the universe, the music of the body, the music of our cells, mm -hmm. the music of our uh, neurons. This is a very old idea of, in Pythagoras said, the universe is both mathematics and music. So yes. you agree with that? Yes, absolutely. And also Tesla, um, also Einstein, they sometimes said that um, if you want to understand the universe, you have to understand the, the its frequency and its vibrations. So um, when we were doing the experiment with the proteins, we found that uh, it's, um, it's composing a music. And uh, one of the beautiful things is that you will find that spiral symmetry is everywhere. So when we were... Like the double helix. Like the double helix. If you go to the microtubule, you see the double helix. Just think of, uh, uh, of our solar system. The sun is moving at 30,000 um, uh, meters per second. It's going straight. And then all the planets are rotating around it. So it's a spiral motion. If you look at the galaxies, you will see spirality. Even when people theorize... Yeah, the Milky Way galaxies. And the Milky Way galaxies. So, so it's, it's, a, it's a, spiral, a spiral thing. Why is it a spiral? And also if you think of the, st the light that is coming up uh, from the distant, far distant um, stars to your body, for, for that photon that is no time pass, for, for when it is coming from your body to my body, there is no time pass. For, so it's a single photon that is encompassing the entire universe. A single photon maybe is a single matter. So it is a unique um, um, a device that has maybe that is self-conscious and it could be when you go to the very, very smallest scale at the uh, Planck dimension, then also when we try to consider the smallest uh, shape, then people try to make that symmetry also spiral. So spiral is the ultimate, the supreme symmetry. And that spirality, when a energy passes through a spiral path, it automatically gets quantized. 